survived. Just about. <laughs> How many pre-seasons have you done now? Oh God, that must be 16 or 17. Did it, get, did it get easier? Did Never get, get any like, easier. You know? you know what's coming, you've just got to get your head down and get on with it. And Are you one of these through. that likes the pre-season? I don't think anyone likes it, but he's just... I've met one. You just know it's got to be done and you, you just get through it and uh, hopefully come through without being injured. New deal signed then? Yep. What's the plan? plan is we want to get promoted, so you want to, want to be part of that. It's, uh, obviously, the chairman's putting a lot of investment into it. He wants to... Wants to be up there, manager wants to be up there, and all the lads want to be up that top end. A few new faces in there, what do you make of them? You know some of them. Yeah, I great signings, you know, um, played against Nicky many times, he's a good player. Um, played with Lowy at Sheffield Wednesday, you know what, his goal record speaks for himself, and there'll be good ingredients, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few more to come in, and it's uh, it's exciting times. Uh, big centre half, he's huge, Keel O'Brien, he's massive. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, obviously they, they brought him in from Chorley. I, I don't know much about him, but he's uh, he looks a big lad, fit lad, and I'm sure they'll he'll get a chance here to come and express himself. That fitness test you've done this morning, I was blowing a bit just watching. Yeah, it's tough, but we've we've had a program to stick to uh, over the summer, and the lads have come back in. All, everyone looks in good nick, you know. Everyone will get in decent times and targets, so I think the guy will be pleased with with what he's seen this morning. One thing that was evident straight away was that, that camaraderie within the dressing room. That's not changed, does it? No, it's, it's a, we've got a good set of lads here. I mean, uh, you can see that straight away. We've we've um, we've got a good blend of kind of older heads and younger lads, and uh, everyone gets on well. And, and you need that if you're going to be anyway successful. You look out the window and see the pitch as it is now. You just want to get out there and play it. Don't yeah, you? It's, it looks fantastic. I mean, you can see how bang fly it is. It's uh, straight away looking at it. You just like say you want to get out there and and, and get playing. The, the chairman's done fantastic to to put his money in like that and, and get it because at times last year it would, the pitch were really bad and it, it probably held us back at times. Mm. Do, do you sit back and look at the last season and think well, what what could I have, what should I have done? I think you always have a look back but and you you look where you could have improved on that but I think from when the manager come in and we kind of progressed nicely and, and I think looking at it, we, if we'd have had four or five more games I think we'd have, we'd have probably ended up gate crashing the, the playoffs kind of things and the performance levels went through like went through the roof in terms of kind of performance and results towards the end of the season. It, 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 it kind of whets your appetite for next year. Well, what changed you? What was the big change last season? Was it down to the change of manager? Well, you look how many players come through door, and we never had a settled team, and how many players he used, and it was only towards the, the back end that we started getting a settled team kind of thing. And uh, obviously, the manager come in, he had different ideas. He wanted to to play and pass from what. What Kevin had when he was in, in charge, and they were the complete turnaround of players. It would just you're never going to be successful if you're going to use that many players. It was bordering on madness at times, weren't it? It were. I mean, I mean, looking back to the first day back today, my first day here last year, there were I think there were 30 trialists in or something like that. It would just it, would, it were carnage really at times. But that's that's where the club were were then and where it is now. It's night and day really. We've had the fixtures about what 10 days now. What did you make the first game? Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, uh, it's at home, which is which. I think I've always personally liked playing at home first game. You get get that anticipation. You get your, the fans in behind you, and it's nice to get off to a winning start if you can. Bolton away, cup game, big game. Yeah, big game. Yeah, yeah we made plays for Bolton, so uh, have a win when fixtures come out. So that'll be a be a good one if he's playing. Good one for the fans. Yeah, great one. It's a it's a local derby, isn't it? And it's uh, it's a nice early one, isn't it, to get people excited mm. and, and looking at. I mean, for the fans especially, I mean, the last time we went there, we beat them one 0 They were a Premiership side then, so it's just something to look forward to. Yeah, it is. It's, it, like I say, it's, it's early on in the season as well, so people will be still working everyone out, and you know, it's, there's no pressure on us to, to wear the underdog, so we can go and enjoy it. You're looking forward to it. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I think everyone's the same. You know, you just want to get pre-season out of way and get the game started. It's like I say, you know, pre-season's the necessary evil that you've got to go through to get to it, but. The game's come around thick and fast before you know it, kind of thing. First game in a week. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's it is, it's scary when you when you say like that. You mean you've you have six or seven weeks off and then you are straight back into it. But yeah, I think once the game's coming and you're getting into it, it's just getting a feel of the ball and getting that rustiness out here and building towards that first game. And then of course you got Chef Wednesday as well, a place you know well. Yeah, yeah. We um, I, I didn't actually realise we were playing until I uh, looked at the fixtures the other day. So that yeah, it'd be a good game. I'm sure they'll bring a few few fans across and. It'd be a 
a, a decent game we're playing at the AJ Bell now, aren't we? So it's a, it'd be a good test. Does, does the fact that the Buckies have made his favourites or joint favourites, second favourites, does that mean anything? Does that add pressure? Uh, not really. I think we will put pressure on ourselves because we we know where we want to be and we we know what we've got to do to get there. And what the Buckies say, that's, I mean, by the by, it's, the pressure will be put placed on us by the manager and the expectations that they they want. Just get on with it. Yeah, he's, whatever they, whatever people say, they can't, there's only us that can affect it, well, whatever we do, so that's what we've got to look at. Brilliant, not with me.